Hello, hola, hola. ¿Cómo estás? How are you? I hope this video finds you well. My name is Ana Jaworski. I am the creator uh, of the Spanish Playdate program, specially designed for early language learners. I help families and teachers with the desire of teaching the language to these little ones, especially uh, ages two to six years old, where is the window um, of possibilities to capture the language without um, any effort, any effort from their part, but from your part a little. But I teach the parents and the, the teachers how to do it with ease and following a step-by-step -step program. Today, I wanted to take advantage of the opportunity to show you how you can create your own Spanish corner. So a Spanish corner is just a little a space in your house where you are going to dedicate only to have material and uh, place the intention that you are gonna use the language when you are in that area. So that is the sign for that. And I'm gonna show you how you can involve your children into this process. So we are going to start with just picking a space. Select a space in your house, maybe in the spare bedroom, maybe in the basement, maybe in your child's bedroom. Um, maybe you have a playroom. You can select just a wall, a little space where you are going to set maybe a special rug, a little table, two chairs, one for you, one for your child. And I would like you to select a toy, a stuffed animal, that you are going to name it with your child um, and let your child know that he or she, the stuffed animal, only is around of people who speak Spanish and he gets very happy about it. Children's imagination is so big and so magical <laughs> when they try to connect reality with the plain world. So having a friend who only understands them and speaks Spanish is very, very significant for them. So they will know that anytime they come into this space, they are going to be trying hard. So the little stuffed animal, their friend, in this case, and also people, this is me also people, it's been with me for about 10 years, um, understand Spanish. That's why we are around here because he needs to listen to us speaking Spanish. So that's the space in your, uh, in your area. Now, when you are gonna go uh, for the things that you're gonna place in that space that you have selected, you are going to invite your child or your children and you're gonna let them know that that's gonna be a special place where we're gonna play and do a lot of crafts using Spanish. So you're gonna ask them, how about we go for a table hunt? Or if you have an extra table at home, <clears throat> let them know that's the table. If they wanna help you bring in that table, can you help me bring in the chair? Can you help me bring in a, a rug? If you have a rug, I have a yellow rug. <clears throat> maybe you can go, um, I don't know, maybe you can go to one of these thrift stores and then you can go and get something new, something extra, it's used, it doesn't have to be new. And then <clears throat> when you have all these things, maybe you can have a little uh, bookshelf in the same area where you're gonna place books all in Spanish. You need to get your child and your children involved into this process, okay? They need to put the table where they want. They need to put the chair where they want. They need to put the animal, the stuffed animal that they want. Now, I was able to purchase this on Amazon. You can just purchase or decorate something on the wall and let your children put them in there, okay? When you are doing all of these, you have to start that process of getting them excited. Los círculos. ¿Cuántos círculos hay? How many, how many circles? How many círculos? And when they are putting the circles on the wall for the Spanish corner, you start counting in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Mira los colores, anaranjado, verde, rojo. You start linking their brain 
to the area they are putting together where this is going to happen, okay? Now, the next step is going to be to get some little um, cards, index cards, and <clears throat> if you are new to the language and you are learning with your child, if you are a monolingual mom um, trying hard to introduce the language, then you can grab a, a dictionary or you can just go through Google uh, and start uh, looking for the words that are around in that area. So this is la mesa, la mesa, and then you're gonna write la mesa. Always use the article for that word. Don't use only mesa, use la mesa, la mesa. Okay, if you need help, you can ask me or you can ask somebody who knows. If you already know, but you know, we use the article because this is a good way how your child can uh, avoid confusion later with the matching the articles with the right word. Sometimes people say la agua or el, el, el mesa, things like that, if they mix it. But if you start introducing the full, um, the article and the noun at the same time, that is just gonna take it away, one step away. So you have la mesa, you have la silla, and then you write with your child. Maybe you write it with your pencil and you ask your child to follow the lines in, with a marker. Or no, if not, if they're too little, you just write it and you say la silla, and you ask your child, can you say la silla? Yeah, this is la silla, you show la silla to your child. Say la silla, la mesa. <clears throat> you have this is la pared. La pared. La pared. Okay. Now, what else? These things that you are putting together, you can start taping them. So you get just marking tape and you tape them directly. You have a bookshelf, a hell armario, and El laborador de libros o el librero. So you have la silla, and then you can place la silla here. Here, la silla. La mesa, you get more tape. Maybe you ask your child. La cinta, con la cinta, you can give it to your child. Can you just put this in la mesa? Oh. <laughs> it just got hurt, hard in here. Okay, so we have la mesa, la pared, we have el librero, <clears throat> where the books go, libro, librero, la mesa, put here in the middle, and you see that, no, this is la mesa, this is la pared, you put it in a place where they can, they can see, right? You can put it here, you can put it in the corner, la pared, and then you have the bookshelf as a librero, el librero, <clears throat> el librero. And then you tell your child, con el nombre del librero ahí, librero. Can you say librero? Librero. And then when you are done with those basic areas, you tell your child, ¿dónde está el librero? Aquí, ¿dónde está la pared? Aquí, ¿dónde está la mesa? Donde está la silla? Aquí. So you just created a little area where you're gonna be doing that over and over, right? With the, with the experience that they had creating the environment for the Spanish classroom, okay? So that's one of the things you need to do. Now, another thing is you are going to gather Probably you already have a craft room or um, materials that your children work with. That is wonderful. But I, I just got interrupted for a second. Okay, so if you have these materials, I would suggest you get two little boxes, okay? Two little containers, and then you select a special, a special box of films, box of films, 
a special box of um, markers. You get glue, scissors, a pencil. Uh, what else do I have here? I have uh, paint. And I, I have these kind of tools, right? But I, <laughs> I teach a lot of children. So I have a box with um, extra materials. Okay. So anything that you have available in your house that you can just um, dedicate only for Spanish, I would suggest just to place them in a special box. And then you are going to write in this box. So I'm going to help your child to identify those boxes that are just for Spanish work only. So you have la caja. La caja de um, materiales. And write it in the Spanish. Let your child see you writing and saying the words in the Spanish. And you ask your child, uh, your child, can you please place la caja de materiales, el papel de la caja de materiales sobre la caja, o en la caja de materiales. Okay? So we have a one and two. And if you can maybe buy a box, a new box of paints and crayons and markers with your child, maybe you just go to the Dollar Tree or you can, for all these materials, you can go to Dollar Tree, beautiful area for crafts. And for this, you can just go to any store and you tell your child, this is for the Spanish corners, for your Spanish corner. Can you pick one box of crayons? Okay, good. In the Spanish, we say, Los crayones. So you write it with him or her. Los crayones. Some people say los crayones, or other people say crayolas. It's okay. Los, los marcadores. So los marcadores. No, okay, um, I'm doing it backwards. These are los crayones and this is los marcadores. Well, you understand the idea. If you have a little <clears throat> box of paint, write in the little box of paint. Las pinturas. Las pinturas. If you get new pencil, or the pencils that you have, no pencil. Pin <laughs> in the Spanish is pinceles. A paintbrush. <laughs> So if you get a new paintbrush, or if you buy paintbrushes, you write it, and you know, they are big enough and thick enough, you say, el pincel, and you write it. And ask your child to repeat. Can you repeat? El pincel. Muy bien, el pincel. You got scissors. La tijera, you can, you can write it here, la tijera. And can you say it with me, la? Yeah. And then you put it, set it in a place in the same area. Maybe you have a little space in there, or you have some extra space that you place them in there. You keep everything in the same environment. <clears throat> and this is how you create your own Spanish corner around the house. You are going to dedicate that space for the process and the journey you are going to start with your own children. With the teachers, well, they already have a space <laughs> and they already know um, this part. But if you are home, this is how you get your child excited and engaged. The first steps get them engaged into that process by living what they are doing, okay? You get excited, you can play some music, you know, in Spanish, you can download some music and you start listening lullabies and nursery rhymes in Spanish while you are doing this, you get your child excited, okay? Well, hope this is very helpful to you. Let me know if you have already um, a Spanish corner, maybe you already have a space this time or dedicated only for this task, for this, um, for this journey you're gonna start or you're gonna keep moving forward, <laughs> okay? I will see you in the next video. I hope this is helpful and 
Let me know what you think about it. Talk to you later. Bye.